Hey guys, quick video here explaining motor screw length for the Wizard X220. I have modified my particular Wizard, took the LEDs off the bottom of the arms and put them in different places. I've got my front green ones shining on the propellers and I got my red ones in the rear underneath. It makes it easier to see in line of sight because I like to fly line of sight right now. I'm not using FPV. Oh, I know people think that's a waste because it's an FPV racer, but I'll take my time and eventually I'll run it FPV. Uh, so here's what you got, guys. Uh, the original screw that was in it is this black one on the right here. Uh, you're looking at just over 10, cent 10 millimeters length. That went through the original LED, the motor mount, and the motor itself, uh, the motor guard and the motor. So I removed those. And I tried to use the ones they sent in the package with the unit, which is this tiny one here. And that's only 5 millimeter. And that wasn't really long enough to reach the motors through this. It's a 4 millimeter bottom plate with a 3 5 millimeter screw is not long enough. So I went ahead and I went with these 7 millimeter length ones that came out of my Traxxas Slash. Uh, the original ones are close to 10 millimeters and they are too long. And if you take this motor mount off, and take the LEDs off and remount these motors with this long screw it will go in and hit the windings in the motor and that's bad so you want to make sure that if you're going to use these original screws either flip these upside down so they don't point up at the motor if you're going to be doing something with those or you're going to have to get a different length screw so that it fits properly